Hi guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with a brand new fan cells unboxing and begging video. And I ordered a bunch of things for Gram Diamond Grandma's Fall, y'all. We've been slowly opening them up. So let's see, this should be one of the last ones that we're opening. I'm not sure what order these are going to go up in the channel. So you might see it before you see the other ones. So let's pull this out. This is a smaller diamond painting. Here are the drills. They're round drills with some bright, vibrant colors. And we have the regular kit with a green boat, the red wax, and the pink pen. And... Let me turn this backward. So I wasn't sure about ordering this one, you guys. It was just so cute on the Fansell's website. This is Fansell's. was $4.53 Canadian. And it looked really cute, but I almost didn't order it because the main, car the main uh, color is not that much darker than the background. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's a little teddy bear with all colorful falling leaves. And they're kind of swirling abstract leaves. So here's the teddy bear, and here are the leaves, and he's sitting in a leaf pile. So I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, because as you can see, this is a little 30 by 30. So this is item number W0384-2. And there are 24 colors. There are alphabet letters, but not in alphabetical order. There's no numbers, but I do see... Number five is a lowercase b, four is an uppercase b, ten is a lowercase g. So they use upper and lowercase, and I'm fine with that. There's a second table of content. But yeah, I am concerned about the colors. They look very, very close. Um, but they also do in the picture. So that's one of the reasons I almost didn't get it. But I just thought it was adorable. And um, I'm hoping there will be enough of a difference in color between the teddy bear and the background. So, yeah. I might have to fix this one up a bit. I might have to outline it so it looks more cartoony so that you can see the difference between the bear and the background. It depends on the colors, really, um, how different the background colors are from the foreground. Like, the bear is more gray and white, and the background is more cream, but it's got, like, these swirls of color going through it. I just thought it was really pretty, and I got it for Fall Y'all. Diamond Grandma is doing Fall Y'all for the month of October, where you can do anything that is fall-related, diamond painting, coloring, whatever. And I just thought this would be cute, and it was 30 by 30, and I just really like teddy bears, and I thought it was pretty. But anyway, let me know if you think this will turn out okay or not. It might just be that this is not a good thing for such a small... Uh, canvas. It might just have needed to be on a bigger canvas. So let me know what you think. Leave your comments. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And um, I hope you did like this um, unbagging. I, I had fun even though this isn't like the best one. Did I look at the stick at all? I can't remember. You guys, there's so many cars going by and they're making so much noise and I'm getting distracted. So it's got a pretty good stick and it's nice and clear. But I am worried about, you can hardly see the bear in the background. I might have to make the bear some darker colors. I might change the colors in the bear. I don't know. Anyway, um, take care, you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, comment, and most importantly of all, stay safe. Bye for now.